Oh, there's a flop in my nose. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing really well. You guys, I think I totally forgot to do a mom favorites last month, so I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that I have been using and loving, and hopefully it's helpful to you too. I don't remember if I shared this before, but if you follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat, you know that my youngest has been having a lot of growing pains, like he'll cry all night saying his legs hurt or his knees hurt or whatever and so I'm usually up with him like rubbing his legs or whatever so I did order this J.R. Watkins deep muscle warming balm this is what it looks like and um, I just got this off of Amazon and the reason why I picked this one is because it's 99% natural and um, I think the thing that helps it the most is menthol so I've just been kind of rubbing this on his legs and knees and kind of just like massaging his legs so if you have kids that have growing pains only one other kid went through this growing pains phase um, maybe this will help for you too actually recently one of my really good friends suggested using tonic water Water as well she said that her doctor told her to give her son that when he's having growing pains and stuff like that so my youngest son received a really cute shark set from skip hop and it was a backpack and a lunch pail and this water bottle I'm actually going to be giving away a backpack for shark week so make sure you're following me on Instagram anyways I wanted to mention this water bottle because um, it has like a little flip top like I said this is skip hop but I feel like since my son has been carrying this around he has been drinking so much more water and especially out here when it's so hot out that's so 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 important and even for myself I wish I brought one in here I carry around one of those huge Starbucks cups and I know it's silly but I feel like when I carry that around I drink way more water than if I wasn't so for me I'm like it's a good investment because it's worth it if I drink more water so anyways if you have a kid that doesn't drink a lot of water or you want them to drink more water or whatever invest in a cute like travel bottle travel cup um, so that they want to carry it around and they like drinking out of it like he drinks out of this like all day and it's so cute because since he got that backpack and lunch pail he's been carrying all three things around with him everywhere if you guys know me and you've seen him recently you know what I'm talking about and it's so funny because the backpack and the lunch pail still have the like crumpled paper inside like there's nothing even in there he's just carrying it around with him everywhere because he loves the shark thing so anyways yes make sure you follow me on Instagram for shark week so you can win one of those backpacks um, another thing I can't remember if I shared this on my personal Instagram or if I shared it on but I might have just done it in Instagram stories but this is my DIY hair detangler I have a lot of hair and so do my girls and especially my oldest daughter has really really thick curly coarse tangly hair and I just cut her hair and I thinned it out and it's still so thick we go through so much detangler and I just kind of was like I bet I could make detangler with stuff at home so this in here has jojoba oil lavender essential oil and then just warm water I know some people also will add um, a little bit of conditioners but it's so much cheaper and you can refill it whenever you want I actually might make a really quick video showing how I make this okay now I very rarely go to the mall but just in case you're someone who goes to the mall I came across a children's place and I have not been inside of a children's place in forever but all of the clearance stuff was an extra 70% off or 75% off I got a million shirts for my kids this is for my oldest daughter because these are the ones that were hanging in the laundry room but um, how cute is this nacho average girl and then this one you stole a pizza my heart I have a crust on you isn't that so cute okay these were only a dollar twenty something <laughs> so I got shirts for all of my kids so if you guys are near a mall or you're near a children's place make sure you get over there and get some shirts I stocked up for all of them okay these are the last two things and also kind of random you guys know I have always had problems sleeping and this is such a silly thing but I seriously whatever can help even if just a little bit I got this little face mask 
at H&M and it's like padded it almost feels like memory foam or whatever and I always thought those were just for luxurious rich fancy people I feel like it helps me sleep because it blocks out all the extra lights like my kids have to sleep with the light on so the funny thing is they turn the hallway light on so it's not so bright in their room but they still have a little light but guess what that hallway light flickers into our room and so I feel like just blacking it out number one helps but it also prevents me from grabbing my phone when I can't sleep and endlessly scrolling through stuff so I just feel like that's been really helpful Okay, and then the last super random thing, and I don't even know how accurate this is, but I was at the Goodwill and look at this book I found. It's called Eat This, Not That. And um, it kind of just goes through all sorts of kinds of foods. And I've just been casually reading through it and I feel like it's been very insightful and it's very, um, like even like ice creams, it'll be like eat this ice cream instead of this ice cream. And I feel like even though I'm not gonna retain all of this knowledge, I feel like just getting some of those that information in my brain not only for me but also for my kids so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that mommy favorites i hope you guys are doing really well i really want to make a summer bucket list so that we can even though i homeschool and i have my kids all the time anyways i do want to kind of make a bucket list of stuff that we can do during the summer to keep busy do some fun things um, i would love to hear some things that you and your kids are planning to do during the summer because i feel like a lot of times i'll see my friends doing stuff i'm like oh my gosh we should do that too so please let me know some activities or things that you plan on doing with your kids during the summertime I would love to hear all about it um, I hope you guys are all doing really well make sure you follow me on Instagram snapchat Facebook wherever you are on social media because I'm I'm there all the time so I will talk to you guys later bye